Are you playing with them? Yeah! Her feet finally kind of touch the ground. So she's going kind of crazy in it. So that's fun for her. Now she's spinning it and she's loving it. Now you're just chillaxing. You're listening to some turtle music. You really like this one apparently. So close to having her feet touch the ground. She's got some toes on the ground. She's got some toes on the ground. You can kind of bounce yourself around. Is that fun? Emmy's having a little bit of trouble uh, putting herself down for a nap right now. It looks like she's suffocating herself though. But you know what we got? <clears throat> we got our first blue apron shipment. We're trying letting someone else pick and kind of create our meals. Well, I think we just wanted something new. Yeah. Because it was, we were just having a lot of the same stuff, so we wanted to just get some new ideas. And it was half off the first time, so. Yeah. So here's what the box looks like. How three meals fit in there. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm skeptical. What do you think, Em? She said that she gets it kind of after the fact. You don't say. Well, presentation for the inside is pretty good. It's got a little building a better food system and wishes you happy cooking. That looks like it's a little like magazine. Bird magazine. So they kind of throw all of the the menu cards on top. So these are the meals we got. You are loud. <laughs> talking. You ma'am. I'm having fun. You are just entertaining yourself with your sleeve. So we got chicken under a brick with roasted vegetables and Italian dressing. We got oh, this. Oh wow, it's like a full half chicken. Well it's for two people. Yeah. So we got the, the meals for two people and we got three meals. And we got spinach, fresh mozzarella pizza. With olives, bell peppers, and ricotta salata. Then we got the uh, stuffed pork chop, which I'm a little skeptical about. <laughs> and so is Emily. This looks like some space age stuff right here though. I'm interested to see if it comes like separated at all. Or the one that, the home chef one is like all separated. It looks sorry, so she opened the box for me. Well, we have home okay. chef coming next week. Yeah? Yeah. Can you see them right All right. There's the spinach. So take a look at this. It literally is just all the stuff thrown in there. Oh, see, that's totally different. So how... it's not separated at all. So like if you get like multiple meals, all the meals are thrown in together. So like it's no different than going to the grocery store and getting stuff and putting it in your cart. Yeah. That's really interesting. The Home Chef one like, was separated it's just, out. It's just a potato in here. One thing that'd be nice is if it said on here like mini sweet peppers and then said like for meal XYZ. Pork chop knickknacks. No idea what the hell that is. This, it's really cold. Ooh, of, real mozzarella. This is like legit mozzarella. See like that. So like where it says like that it's for pizza, pizza or something and everything in here. It'd be cool if it was like all in one bag. Quality of the food. The grocery store over here, the produce isn't necessarily the best, but like this doesn't look that bad. Mm -mm. That's a sh shirtload of carrots. What do we have that has that many carrots? The roasted veggies, probably. Oh, this is good though. It's the chicken under a brick. It has carrots. I don't know about you, but I have never eaten half a dozen. Well, it's over roasted veggies. What, have you had six carrots before in one sitting? And then we got a little divider action with. A brick of ice. Where's the meat? It's under the ice. Oh. So inside of here, there's like a half of chicken and the meat and stuff. Uh, but this. Oh, it's frozen. It's super frozen. So I don't think we'll be having the chicken tonight for dinner. No, I wish I would have known. Does it say on the back how to defrost it? Like how quickly it defrosts or anything? We can put it in the refrigerator though and have it tomorrow. But at least it's in like a tray so that like when it defrosts and stuff, it doesn't get everywhere. Um, and here is the pork chop. pork chop. And then here's another giant bag of ice. And that's it. So here's all the food for three meals. 
Mm -hmm. So, so far from what I've seen from the Home Chef, I'm impressed, more impressed with the way Home Chef sends their stuff. Um, but we'll see when we get our box next yeah, week. Yeah, in terms of like how they shipped it, um, it was really cold, so that was nice. The, how it was organized, definitely could need some help. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of the quality of food, I mean, it all looks like really good quality stuff. Yeah. Um, and it did, didn't really get damaged at all. No. Um, these, but so these are partially thawed. So like these probably need to be, like if you feel on top. Oh yeah. So these See, like, have, that has to be cooked. Chicken is like a brick though. Yeah. What are you saying? Huh? What do you have to say? <laughs> wow. Is your sleeve tasty? She's like stretched out her sleeve. <laughs> How you doing, Em? You enjoying watching us cook? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You just keep talking to Sophie. How's it going, Lise? Good. I have the garlic and the pe uh, red peppers. Which they did not include. No, they didn't include So them. it says on the directions that red peppers are included. However, they were not. So we got the spinach, red pepper mix thing going. Got a lot of spinach to go to work in here. Yeah, that's... This is going to take a while. It's a lot of spinach. We got the pizza dough already laid out and ready. We got the shallots cut. We got the shallots. We got some, uh, some oregano. We got some uh, black olives. The directions are pretty well laid out. I'll give them that. They have like little check marks by everything and pictures and the cook and prep time. It's like 45 minutes for Probably something. For for Considering this is the first time of us cooking it, I would say that it's less 45 minutes and more of like an hour plus. Know. Well, but when it's your first time, I mean, obviously like we're reading the directions trying to make sure we do it. Right? True, but most of these things are like going to be the first time you make it because yeah. they're new it's recipes. New. What do you think, Em? Does it look good to you? And little Miss Emerson's just over here talking away with their little friends. Man, you're happy today. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take happy Emmy over cranky screaming Emmy any day. Well, there's the finished product. What do you think of it looks wise? Looks good to me. It definitely, I think you described it when you said it's a flatbread that you have like a dipping sauce for. Yeah. Is much more accurate than calling it pizza. Yeah. I would say that flatbread, Dipping sauce, mm. good call. Looks good though. Yep. What's your uh, rating on the taste? It's kind of bland. Out of 10, what do you give it? A five. On the Lisa will or will not be eating Cheetos later scale, what do you give it? A yes or a no? Oh yes. Gotcha. It needs more garlic and flavor It's though. definitely very spinachy. Mm-hmm. Like, very spinachy. Onion or something, I don't know. Yeah. Verdict's still out on this one. I like the, the crust, but I don't know. I don't know. Kind of. Um, what do you think, Cooper? Orange fish. Emmy's watching her. Octopus. Her Saturday morning TV. And just gently tapping the little toesies. Mm -hmm. Oh, Those little feet, dude. I don't know. Just like taps. Blue apron part two. Did you sell pepper this? I did not. A lot of stuff going. Yeah, I will say that. This, um, this is a stuffed pork chop. I don't know. I mean, I'm hoping for it to be good. What do you think, Em? Fontina stuffed pork chop with veggies. We have potatoes and peppers and shallots. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We weren't that impressed with last night. Last night, not so much. Well, I say I pretty accurately replicated the picture. Yeah, I'd say so. Looks good. So, what do you think? Really good. It's different from what we would normally cook, but I think it tastes really good. The flavors are really different. I think it gave us some ideas on like potatoes and ways to cook cook stuff, but it's good. Uh huh. Okay. What would you What would you give it out of ten? If the the pizza flap ready thing yesterday was a five, I'd give us like a seven or an eight. Yeah, I'd say a seven or eight is pretty solid. Here's the last of the blue apron. This is a brick something chicken under brick. And there's my cheering crew. Go, Dad, go! Go, Dad, go! Where'd the third one go? Cooper! Yeah. 
But this doesn't look that bad, but I'm not gonna lie. That's like barely any chicken. Like there's a lot of bone there. The home testing that Sherry gets, she was saying that the, the meat is never frozen. It, it, she said it's never enough for leftovers, but she said there's plenty of food. Yeah, cause like looking at this, like I could eat like yeah, all of this. Yeah, you could eat all that. Like the chicken breast on here is not very big. Yeah. And let's be real, I enjoy carbs. Yeah. <laughs> So this is what the chicken looks like, done and kind of peeled. I would say this is enough chicken for one person, like when I'm all said and done. I think Emmy could probably eat all the chicken. Huh, Emmers? Well, luckily, I have an artichoke. What do you think, Ems? Carrot. Ha <laughs> ha! And potatoes, and I can, I can fill up on them. I think someone's belly is uh, full of chicken. What have you been eating? <laughs> yeah? What have you been eating? So in terms of an overall rating, I'd say Blue Apron is probably about like a seven or eight in terms of like how easy it is to cook. You know, it, it's, it's not hard. Everything's laid out pretty well. So in terms of that, it's pretty good. Portion size is pretty small. We're not big people, but for us, even the portion sizes were small. The quality has been good. So like in terms of the taste, ripeness, all of that, it's pretty good. I wouldn't suggest doing this during the week when maybe you're in a pinch for time. Not the quickest meal. Most of the meals that we've had have a prep time between 10 and 15 minutes and a cook time of about 45 minutes. So we're finding that each of these meals takes about an hour to do start to finish. This coming week, we have like Home Chef or another service coming that we're gonna try. We just wanna mix in some new recipes with the ones that we already do all the time. If we find that some of these are super easy to do, um, you know, once I go back to work, it'd be nice to have a quicker you know, easy meal to make um, where we don't necessarily have to go shopping for the ingredients. So in terms of Blue Apron, will we be continuing with Blue Apron? Probably not on a regular basis. Maybe once every couple months. Overall, I mean, it's a seven or eight. Oh Life couldn't get better This gon' be the best day